adjustment layers for Final Cut Pro. If you already know what you want, the download link is in the video description. If you don't know what adjustment layers are or how to use them, stick around, we will have a look at it. Adjustment layers do what their name suggests. They are layers on which you can put adjustments. But why would you want to do that? Imagine you're working on a timeline and you have a LUT or a final grade you want to apply to all of your clips. You could apply it to one of them and copy and paste it to the others. If I just make a quick grade here, I can use this, copy this and paste it to the others. But what if I change my mind? I don't want something like this, I want something more like this, for example then I would need to remove the attributes there, then I have to copy this again and paste it on here. This is a major hassle. That's where adjustment layers come into play. So let me remove the grade from all of the clips, like so, and apply the adjustment layer. Now I just have to drag it above all of the clips I wanted to affect, like so. Now I just can grade it here, like this. Okay, and now all of the clips underneath are affected. And if I change my mind, I can always make a change and all of the clips are affected as well. Stacking adjustment layers is also possible. If you stack them, wouldn't it be nice to color code them? Go to the inspector and the info panel. Then go to video roles and select edit roles. Now you want to create the video roles you want to use. For example, role one and apply the color of your choice. For example, this. Then add another, roll 2, and I will leave the color at that, and another one, roll 3. Okay, once this is done, you can hit apply, select the adjustment layout you want to color code, and select the roll. Roll 3, for example, codes this green, roll 2 codes this red, and roll 1 will code this in orange. By the way, roles are a great organizational feature for the timeline and you should look deeper into this. So get subscribed, I will make a video on this one. Speaking of organizational features, if you want to rename your adjustment layer, just right click and rename it or select it, go to the inspector and enter a custom name there. If you haven't already, feel free to download the adjustment layers. The link is in the video description.